Welcome back. Let's take a look at what I've messed up last time I was playing. So periodically, Shogi Wars will give me problems based on my own games. And this gives me a chance to see what I did wrong and what I can do better in the future. Let's see. I don't remember which of my three games this was from. But in the game I played one move, and yet there was a better move. I think this it feels like this was from two days ago. After the game, I did review with Giko's help, and Giko pointed out that I blocked my rook. I played this bishop capture pawn uh, move, and this is very, very, very slow. Whereas I would like to keep the bishop pointing at the rook, and I would like not to block my rook. So. The much better move in this case is uh, bringing the rook into a slightly more vulnerable spot for the sake of the rest of the pieces. So I can continue attacking and not block it. Even though it's... The way I had reasoned about it, my opponent could drop a knight and that could force the rook to move. And that's actually fine. In Bug House or Crazy House, losing a tempo can be very painful. But here, blocking the rook is the way you lose a tempo, even without the opponent dropping a piece. If the opponent has to drop a piece and you have to move, they've given up a piece in hand, which is actually worth quite a bit. So yeah, this would have been the way to keep the position level. In the game, I blocked my rook, and things went very sour in a hurry. Yeah, our opponent blocked the silver, and now my pieces are in full retreat. So that's how not to play. So we've learned our lesson, um, and let's try to apply that in some way. Um, I haven't decided what strategy I want to try today. I'm always wanting to try new things, because new things are fun to try. But also I tend to lose if I try too many new things at once. Well, let's see how this goes. So maybe I try Static Rook again. I know I'm not exactly on a winning streak, but that means I have some liberty to try things, right? We'll see. Good luck. Go Keegan Central Rook is our opponent's favorite opening. <laughs> Guess what I'm playing. Yeah, I thought it could be interesting to play, um, sorry, I misspoke. So I thought it would be fun to play, uh, a strategy, a uh, static rook strategy, but I changed my mind. We're going to play central foul rook and try not to confuse myself too much. So I've kept these pieces linked together, even though generally that tends to be inadvisable. Um, and then I think I want to push on the king's head here, because Applying pressure on these files is a great way to extract concessions from the opponent. Um, this is interesting. So they're offering a bishop exchange. It actually favors them to have that exchange, doesn't it? Well, I'm not sure that it does. It's true, their threats look more dangerous than mine at this point. Um, I'm curious about this move. So, 
so my silver is going to take this oblique or whatever path forward. Um, hmm. That's also a bit odd. They might be trying to use the rook on this file. Maybe that's the meaning of this move. Um, well, let's take the free pawn, because I don't see anything wrong yet with taking it. Um, and then I have to take this pawn. And they are threatening this. No question about that. The question becomes, what can I do here? That ordinarily might not be possible. So I can hit the rook and the lance. Um, I didn't see anything. I mean, I'm also sort of aiming at the king. But my attack in that direction is a bit slow at the moment. But the rook's floating. The lance is hanging. Yeah. My king is exposed. So I'm playing with fire, but that's how we do things here. If I take, they drop a bishop, and it's not so clear. If I drop a pawn, yeah, it feels nice for a turn, but then the next turn, what do I do? Um, Nanafun. I think I just take this and expect a bishop drop and expect to have to take that. Actually, wait, my silver's protected, so if they drop the bishop, I just take a knight. So their best play might be trying to corral my horse somehow. Um, but now I have a lance that can win up silver. So I seem to be doing okay. Did I get my overlay right? Yeah, my overlay looks fine. Uh, my gold here is loose. So they, if they could find a way to attack it, it would be hanging. I don't see any one move combination to attack it. Um, that's fair. If I do something stupid, if I drop something other than a pawn, uh, they will attack whatever I drop. So let's drop a pawn here. Yeah, dropping a lance would look cool, but wouldn't actually achieve anything more than a pawn would achieve here. This bishop is not trapped. Um, I'm threatening to take the knight. The knight moves away, threatens to join in this attack. I could move the silver up to win a piece. It would weaken my king, however. Um, so maybe let's not do that. All right, this point was a bit weak. Potentially I could drop a pawn or some other thing in this space, so let's defend it. Once the bishop moves, suppose I'm assuming it moves here, and then I can attack it again. Um, So this indirectly attacks the rook, because the bishop is pinning this pawn. I guess I could have moved the king away somewhere else to also achieve the same effect. Um, so maybe my move isn't so smart.
All right, this bishop's annoying. Let's remove it. Um, let's defend this. Okay, that is an attacking move. Gofun. Hmm. I don't see how their attack continues after this. They'll have to show me. Okay, yeah, their knight could potentially attack something. Point taken. If they move the knight, I could move the lance. Then they could start dropping a lance and a pawn and more stuff here. So I am opening my king to be attacked. But I didn't see a great way around it. Maybe there was some other way to do this. Oh, yes. That. Um. Does this deal with this? So they could take a silver, I could take a lance. I didn't see that until I just dropped it, but um, it seems more than adequate. They probably should sacrifice the rook and knight here. Um, instead, they're giving up a rook and a lance. I'm tired of running. Maybe I need to be more patient. No, I should have dropped the lance first. I got impatient. Hmm. The lance drop first would have been smarter. Something. All right, let's attack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I needed to stop that from happening, and I didn't. Um, all right, so you get my rook because I messed up. I just need to accept that and move on.
I'll try to not hang my dragon to some dumb fork. But this is not looking good for me. I had a good position, and now I don't. I could have a good position again sometime. Um, hmm. I'm not sure what the meaning of this move is. Maybe that was the intention, is to force me to drop here? I don't know. And they do get two pieces for one. That's true. Um... So, this is my target? I have to take it before this dragon takes my knight. Ippun. Hmm. Oh, right. It's not even paying attention.
10秒Behold my extremely bizarre move order. Oh. Apparently I didn't do it right. Well, that's no good. Mm-hmm. Hmm. That, to me, that doesn't make sense. Maybe that makes sense to you, but not to me. I'm down 15 seconds somehow. But I think my position makes up for the 15 seconds.
I think my position makes up for the 15 second gap. Oh, it's not even a 15 second gap anymore, is it? Um... Okay, let's take a minute to figure out how not to lose this. I think I drop a knight here. If this gold retreats, I drop a silver and everything hangs. That's one way. I could also drop a lance here. Um, if this moves over, much the similar, but... Um, Maybe the knight first, they do something about this, and then the lance. The immediate silver drop doesn't seem to do much. Immediate silver drop here, though. Silver takes, rook takes, hits this gold. Nanafun. The gold moves. I drop the silver. Yeah, the silver drop looks... Uh, fatal. But maybe I've missed something. I missed that. I have removed a defender with gain of time, or with equal time. Um... Let's try, let's continue trying to remove defenders, but I, yeah, I might, I did not gain time, so therefore I lost time on that. Right, this helps them solidify more than they, they're more solid now than they were in the first place, so I actually did not do myself any favors here. Um, but I can remove this. So now they don't have another general to protect this with. Um, let's hit the king directly. So they bring in another defender, which becomes another target. Okay, let's bring our attackers closer to the castle. That loses a tempo. But it does bring the horse closer if I do something to address it. Hmm. I'm annoyed. That does slow my attack down. Gofun. So I'm hitting this and that. They defend that, but this prevents the horse from participating in defense. This also makes a threat, so I have to actually remove this. 
Um, So I'm threatening to take the knight. Wow. Okay. If you say so. Maybe their position was just difficult to begin with. This doesn't make it any easier. That's not check. If I had me, thanks for the game. Two down, one to go. Good luck. Hmm. What to do? Wow. Okay, I accept your offer.
Okay, this is the target. This I should have paid more attention to then. Um, what do I do now? Let's roll with it. Hmm. Well, I'm confused. Nana Fun. Such a mess. That's the correct response that I missed. Um... Go fun.
I guess they would want a knight now, wouldn't they? So they could fork the king and bishop. Hmm. Sampun. Nifun. Alright, the bishop's done its job. Ipun. Maybe I dropped the wrong piece. Thanks for the game. That was intense, wasn't it? All right, three day, three games down, zero to go. We did, did our best, but there's still a lot to learn. Thanks for watching. See you next time.